Good morning. Today we're going to unbox the iFlight Success F4 Whoop flight controller. Ignore what the box says because this is actually a 224S FC with 12 amp ESCs and is an all-in-one board. Let's open it. So we have screws and rubber dampers. An XT30 connector. wires an antenna with a UFL connector and the FC itself with a piggyback VTX there's nothing much at the back except for the motor connectors, the USB port, and the battery pads. So the exciting stuff is here at the top. Let's take a closer look. Okay, here we are up close. As you can see, the layout is similar to the Jeff RC GEP 12A F4, but with some significant differences. Um, first is the gyro. Um, it is the IC2689 instead of the MPU 6000. The 2689 is actually the successor to the MPU 6000, so in theory this is better. The other difference is this chip. This is 8 megabytes of flash, so this FC has a black box. So just like the Jep RC, this is an F4 CPU, and this is the OSD chip. And we have here the pads for the VTX, so T1 for smart audio, video out, video in, ground, and 5 volts. So you have the pads here, or rather through holes for the battery, so they should be more robust. And then we have the boot button here, the buzzer pads here the LED and then the pads for the receivers so ground 5 volts inverted receive for UART2 3.5 volt pad and this is the inverted transmit for UART2 and then we have here the uninverted receive for UART2 and uninverted transmit for UART2 so you should be able to use inverted protocol receivers, SBUS basically, and you can use FlySky, DSM, Crossfire over here. I'm not too sure if you can use F port, but if this is bidirectional, then you should be able to use F port here. The other interesting thing about this FC is this connector here for the VTX. So this one is actually a dummy, but this one is the functional one. So, so this one is the smart audio pin. Video out. Video in. These two pins are 5 volts and these are the ground pins. Let's take a look at the VTX. Okay, so here's the top of the VTX. So we have here this large surface that's I think the heat sink and we have a UFL connector here. LEDs for channel, band, and power, and a button for changing the settings. Let's take a look at the other side. Okay, so here's the other side. We have pads here for video, ground, and 5 volts. There should have been a connector here, 
but they removed it for the production version. So video in is this one. Ground are these pins. Then five volts is this one. These two pins. And this corresponds to the other side. Video in, ground. And five volts would be these two. So you should be able to connect the VTX either this way or this way. This connector specifically should allow for cleaner wiring. Let's weigh it. So it's 5.7 grams without the VTX and 7.4 grams with the VTX. And that's it for my unboxing and overview of the iFlight Success F4 Whoop flight controller. It has significant improvements over the JEPRC GEP12A F4 and is a good alternative. Thank you for watching.